was the year 2014 when I first saw him on a summer afternoon by the road in top slip. At first, we assumed it was a captive elephant from a nearby camp, but soon we saw no chains around his legs and no mahout walking beside him. Our excitement knew no bounds when we realized it was a wild elephant, a majestic tusker, so calm and up close. Two years later, in 2016, we saw him again during a birding trip. This time, we recognized who he was. He had a name, a reputation, and a unique charisma about him. Among locals, he is fondly known as Chilli Kumban, named after his tusks that are shaped like chilies. We heard so much about him in the meantime, especially from researchers Anish and Sridhar, who've told so much about how he embarks on an epic journey every summer, covering close to 40 kilometers on foot from Nelliyambudi in Kerala to Navamalai in Tamil Nadu. For someone who could never really identify elephants, for they all looked the same to me. I sort of formed a special bond, a fondness towards him. By 2018, I was blessed to have spent hours with him by the jackfruit tree, by the children's park, inside the coconut fields, on the roadside as he calmly broke branches. I maintained a safe distance each time, never in his way, never annoying him, a true fanboy of this gentle, charismatic being. He's been that for so many people. For those who have just caught a glimpse of him as he walked along the busy traffic filled road to those who have spent hours observing him in the field chilli kumban is something of a star in these areas but over the years things changed the paths he took were becoming increasingly fenced the trees he stood by had disappeared more tourists and vehicles that visited the area heckling chilli kumban he couldn't migrate along the path he had taken for several decades now and then on an unfortunate day he put his trunk up and touched a low hanging electric line and almost got electrocuted one day just like many of his own he walked into that familiar trap an unfortunate conflict in local news immediately he was painted a villain a threat and danger to human lives once a friendly neighborhood harmless tusker now portrayed as a mad rogue elephant unfortunately this is not just his story it's the story of elephants everywhere that are struggling to make sense of a world that we are constantly changing and destroying